I'm Naomi Ahmed and this is Sunny Side Up on kosher.com. I've got my bestie foodie friend Melinda Strauss on the show with Hello. me today. How's it going, Melinda? Pretty good. Melinda is an amazing kosher food blogger. Her blog is Kitchen Tested. She has this real amazing good flair for international cuisine made in a healthier kind of way. Can we talk a little bit about that? Sure. So I have type 1 diabetes and what that means is that I really have to limit my carbs. So what I do is I like to replace with other ingredients like we're going to be doing today that are lower in carb and then I can basically eat everything. All right, why don't we get started? Okay, so a, a regular sopa seca, like you said, is made with pasta, so I figured, why not make it with spaghetti squash? And there's a lot of different ways to cook spaghetti squash. Okay, what's uh, your best way? So this is my favorite way to do it. I use a really sharp knife and some brute force. And I'm really, really careful because you do not want to cut these babies off. <laughs> and I actually took out the seeds on one side just to show you how it looks. So I would do it like this? Yes, exactly. Just get in there? Yeah, I don't like how it tastes when the seeds cook with the spaghetti That's so squash. interesting because yeah. I've actually, when I cut mine in half with mm -hmm. my brute force, <laughs> I cook it skin side down exactly. like that mm -hmm. and then till it's soft and fork tender, right. and then I scrape out the seeds. But you okay. were actually teaching us now to do the opposite way. Sure. It's just it's a flavor thing, and if you like it the other way, there's nothing wrong with that. And what's really fun is even now when it's not cooked, you can see that spaghetti texture already. Yeah, I, it's very right stringy. Yeah, I, I'm loving that. that. Yeah. I'm loving that. That's terrific. Isn't that great? Okay, then, so like, I'm just gonna get woo. in there with my hands. I'm very tactile. It. I like to yes. feel. And okay, all so. you're gonna do is take it and put it face side down. Okay. And it's so, gonna go in the oven. So we pop this in the oven for how long? So 375 for 30 minutes. And we wanna make sure it's not fully cooked. It's gonna be al dente. Just like when you're making sopa seca al with dente. pasta. Al dente. Exactly. Okay, let's go bake that off. Let's do it. So we've got the spaghetti squash bacon in the oven there. Right. Meanwhile. Get ready, because this sauce is so easy. It's spicy, but I know, Naomi, that you're not a huge yeah, spice no, fan. Yeah, be careful. No, so, no, no big spicy foods. The great thing about this recipe is you put in as little or as much as you want. Okay, great. So let's do it. We're going to do the garlic. Garlic. That's right. We have four cloves, and you could do a little less. So this is one whole white onion. So it's quite a lot of onion there. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Whoa, let's blend that up. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to add some chipotles and adobo sauce. Can you just tell me what that is? Because sure. I grew up in Australia where this is not in our flavor profile. Sure. So first of all, it comes in a can. So that's really important that, you're, that you know what you're looking for. It's going to come in an orange can and always. A, and available at all most kosher supermarkets. Yep, everywhere I've been I've always found it. And it's a smoked dried jalapeno that's then put into a tangy and sweet red sauce. Okay. It's spicy. So do yes. I put like this much in? You can put as much as you want. I put the whole can in because I like ah! it spicy. But put in a spoonful, two spoonfuls. Can maybe one, one? Okay. Well, we can always taste it after it's blended okay. and add and more, by the way. I feel like I would like a little bit of the sauce. Okay. Now, what's okay. really great is what are we going to do with this extra sauce, Naomi? We're going to freeze it. I like that. Yes. Now, these are green chilies, also canned. Also canned. Also canned, because they're, you can see how soft they are. You don't want to go cooking any green And chilies. they look peeled also. And they're peeled, yes. Which okay. is nice because it's a little less work for so you. So can I put one in? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Again, we can it's always add... a lot? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay. Just one. We're going to... Sure. She would put in five. I'm going to put in one. I would put in one can, which okay. is two of these little guys. This is canned crushed tomato sauce. Why let's not? give this a whirl. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's turning brown. Uh, color. And now we're going to add in the whole can of tomato sauce. Well, I know you don't like it super spicy because what I'll sometimes do... Is this do, spicy? No, this isn't spicy, but what happens is you'll put the tomato sauce in and you leave a little extra in case it's too spicy, you can always add more. I like that. Yeah. You always, my mother and grandmother always said that. Yeah. Go in slowly, you can't take out, you yeah. can always put in. Oh yeah. All right. Exactly. Okay. It's gorgeous. i got to try this. Okay. A little bit at a time, just I'm to make sure you so like nervous. it. Let me know what you're saying, because it's spicy. Are oh yeah. <laughs> but I would imagine with a spaghetti squash, yeah. you know, that also takes away some of the heat. I would add just a little bit more of my tomato sauce. In this. fact, I'm going to just use up all my tomato sauce. I love it. And if I want, I can always add in some more of the adobo and the chili. Exactly. So Here we're going to pop this back on. Mm -hmm. Another quick up. whirl. That's right. Perfection. Okay, going in with my finger. 
Oh good, can I do that too? Because I'm gonna totally taste it. Oh my god, that's really good, Neil. Mm. Just a good amount of heat. Oh yeah. Not overly mm. spicy, and I imagine with the spaghetti squash, yeah. this is gonna be insane. And it's really nice because you don't even need to add salt or pepper to it because the canned chipotles and the chilies have enough exactly. sodium and salt. Exactly. Delicious. <laughs> exactly, that's it. I'm gonna go grab the spaghetti squash. Perfect. Okay, let's put this right here. There you go, and let's check these guys out. Okay, how do you do that? How do you know that they're done? Well, so what I do is I just press down on it. And okay. when, when it's starting to get soft, when they're fully cooked, they get really soft. You can feel that it's soft, but without, be, without your thumb really mushing through. It's like an avocado, actually. Okay, it Very should have similar. a little bit of pressure, like when you're doing a tomato. Yeah. Firm, yeah. with a little pressure. And when yeah. you pick one out, when you're at the supermarket, how do you know ah. which is a good one? So the main thing that I would do is make sure it's not too mushy when it's raw. Because you know what, there's gonna be bruises and there's gonna be a little bit on the outside, but that's not the part you're eating anyways. I would always wash it before cooking it, by the okay, way. Okay, great. Uh, but it's okay when they have blemishes on them, as long as when you pick it up, it doesn't, you don't feel the bruises when you hold it. And that's really the only thing that you need to look for. Okay. But you can actually see the little flecks of spaghetti that are in there. Okay, oh. so we're gonna get some forks out. Ready, let's do this together. We're gonna, we're gonna double time this. Look at this and you can feel that it's there's, it's still al dente. Yeah, right? I like that. I usually I think I overcook mine, yeah. so it's a little bit mushy. Now this again is a little undercooked because we are going to cook it again. Look at that! I'm oh, putting that. it straight onto my parchment paper. I love to just have it in the house to eat with everything. The steak, it's so delicious. And you can do this oh spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, spaghetti and meatballs. Anywhere where you're using pasta, you can use. Spaghetti squash. squash. Exactly. Okay. And it has so many less carbs. It's really, and it's even a little sweet naturally, which is really nice. Like you could taste it right now, and it's just a little bit sweet. All right, we're up to the next step, Mel. Let's do so it. So, what happens now? So, now you're going to put a little bit of oil into okay. the pan, which is already preheated, by the way, just a little bit. A lot of oil, too, works. That's totally That's just fine. Just a little bit. <laughs> Enough to coat the bottom of the pan. That's right. And you're going to let it heat up just for, for a few seconds because the pan has preheated. Okay. Then we're going to add the spaghetti squash right into the pan. Okay. I love you doing all the work for me. I love that. Well, you're teaching me what to do. There so you go. You could use your I'm hand. I'm going to scrape it in and you're going to mix. Perfect. So you're just going to put that right in there. Ah. Uh, Hear that sizzle, babe. Naomi that loves is the that best sizzle. sound in the world. Okay. There you go. Then we're just gonna cook, you know, mix it around a little bit, get it all coated with the oil. Oh, baby, la. That's right. This we're is beautiful. Get that all nice and good in there. Mm. And then we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper because it's always really important to layer, not the whole thing, I would just sprinkle it because that's a lot of salt. Yeah, you know what, go for it. That wasn't a lot. That wasn't so much salt, it looked like it. Do I do a little pepper? Sure, just, I mean, I love salt and pepper, I just think it goes for it. I'm just gonna do a little bit because you can yeah. always add in Later. My sister-in-law calls me the pepper monkey, so I like a lot of pepper. That's cute. But yeah. And we're going to let this cook just for a few minutes, and then we're going to add the uh, tomato sauce that we made. There you go. All right, so next we're going to add the tomato sauce. I won't add the whole thing all at once. I would add about half of it at a time. It's really based on how much sauce you want, just like okay. you would with your pasta. I happen it's to like a lot of sauce. Nice. Go for it. And stir it all together. I'm, st I'm stirring it aggressively. Exactly. Am I worried about breaking up the spaghetti squash no, strands? It's pretty easy, right? You can do whatever you want and you're not going to do it wrong. So oh, it's I fantastic. Love that. Yeah? Personally, me, I would add some more sauce to it. Okay, you, it's so, up to you if you want to, no, but I totally like would. We're going to add like a, a lot bit of the more. red sauce. And what's great is if you have extra, you can put that on chicken and bake that up because it is so oh, really? good like with a chicken. Like ca a cacciatore, but sure, spicy. Yeah, oh my God, that'd be amazing. With chicken breast or dark meat chicken, works both ways. So you want to flatten it out so it looks really pretty. Like a pie. Because we actually are going to serve it in, in this pan. So the idea here, and you could, if you don't have any oven safe pans, you could put this in another pan, like a casserole dish, and put it in the mm -hmm. oven. But how pretty is it in this I cast iron skillet? So, you know what I mean? It looks so pretty. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover it with foil. Okay. And, you know, be careful so you don't burn your hands, yep. as always. And I'm we're gonna just going to... That's right. And then we're just going to put this right into the oven. Um, for how long and what temperature? So it's going to go in at 375 for 30 minutes. Okay, let's yeah, do it. It's great. It's 30 minutes later, Mel. I'm gonna go let's grab that. I'll wait here for you. I cannot wait to try this. So excited. As we... We can smell it. The, the kitchen smells amazing. And this looks beautiful. Mm. Just to say, that's why we're putting it in the oven. There's no eggs in there. It doesn't need to bake longer. We just love... Oh, that looks so good. It smells amazing. Yeah. I love the smell of the spices. Yeah, and the color is so good. And what we're gonna do yeah. is we're gonna eat this for dinner. Right now. Now, let's do All it. Right. And no, so no That's really good. heavy on the carbs. <gasps> Very little on the carbs. You know, they're just natural carbs, right? You get carbs from the tomatoes, the spaghetti squash has a little bit. And I guess, you know, peppers, everything has a little bit of carbs in it. But 
it's all natural, which is really great. So we're gonna top it. I love a little bit of feta, because I like mm. a little bit of salty bite and it's a little extra protein. Uh, we have some sour cream, because it's, oh, it's creamy and tangy and so good, and then limes, because, well, I mean, who doesn't and love a, a lime? Cilantro. And then cilantro, because we are going, cilantro, cilantro. cilantro. So I'm gonna a little bit of sour cream. Pass that to you. I'm gonna do a little bit. I mean, I like a lot of feta, I'm not gonna lie. I like a lot of sour cream. Yeah. <laughs> I like a lot of feta. I think I'm gonna really enjoy the heat and the sour cream yeah. flavor together. And then I like to squeeze a little bit of lime over it. I also love to serve it with lime, just so pretty. And look at the, let's just even right here, like look how pretty that is. Just the, I love it. the pop of green right there. So I like to squeeze a I little bit. I love that you're so creative because I've oh, never seen things. this done in a, in a kosher kitchen before. Oh, I really appreciate so that. So I really learned something new. I'll just come make it at your house, how about that? Okay, and now we can all make it. That's true. Yeah. I've and got some lime goes on it. Yep. And I like to keep my cilantro, my cilantro, in a cup with some water. And actually, here's a really good tip. If you're keeping it for a long time, don't put it in the fridge. Put them in a cup with some water and cover it with a Ziploc bag. And you make your own little green room. Right. And it'll last for, and I just like to break it up by hand so it doesn't bruise, just like basil. This is and if you don't like cilantro, you can certainly use parsley. And that's it. That's dinner. Where's my fork? Okay, let's eat, Mel. <laughs> let's do it. So, yeah, a little bit of everything. Okay, I've got a little bit of everything. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Okay, oh, here we go. Too. Mm. What do you think? Is it too spicy? How are you doing on the heat? Mm. <laughs> it's perfect. Awesome. I love it. Thank I love you. the heat, the sweet, the, the sour from the lime is the that are all coming together. It's got yeah. all these incredible flavors. I'm so and good. And it has a tiny bit of spice. Yeah. Well, we also, because we were able to adapt it for what we like or right. what you like. So if you like the whole adobo, throw it all in. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm gonna tuck right in. Excellent. This is amazing. And for more fabulous recipes like this, yep. check out kosher.com. Let's go, babe. No, I'm not, I'm not. Ha, 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 ha. I can stop? Come on, go faster. Almost ready. Oh, oh, hey. Okay, just making sure, because I'm like, eh. Oh, I hello. I don't even know where it is, this guy. Yeah, 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 no, I know. Should we stop? You're not I'm in the outside. Unless you're this serving. This sunny setup. 